everybody. Welcome to uh, another tutorial today. We're going to be working in Premiere Pro, doing some advanced color correction. Uh, as you can see here, I've already got some color correction done on this video channel, this video layer, video clip. Um, so if you are interested in learning how to get from this to this, go check out my other video on how to color correct Sony A7S II footage. For today, what we're doing is we're going to do some advanced color correction. Um, I, When I shot this, I tried to match up these colors with some of the branding so that I could throw titles on and it would match up with their printed assets and everything. But as you can see, once I got this all color corrected properly in, in the post-production process, the blues and teals and orange and yellows and all this of this color here don't match up with the branding colors. So today what I'm doing is fixing that and... Uh, and it's gonna be a bit advanced on the color correction. You'll see why here in just a few moments. Uh, so first thing I wanna do is get the blues to match to more of this green teal. So um, I need to push these a little more orange. This needs to be probably a little less pink. And right there you can see that right there is about where I wanna be. You'll notice, you see that the blues and greens are kind of this color here, and the oranges, yellows are kind of this here. That looks great, but her skin does not look great anymore. Uh, if you notice, go back, that's where we were at before, and that's where we're at now. So what we're trying to do is get her skin tone back to where we were before while leaving this other stuff in the background alone. So we're gonna do, now that we've got this color corrected here, Scroll down and go to HSL secondary, hue, saturation, lightness. That's what that is. So I'm going to use the, uh, if, uh, if these aren't showing for you, you might have to flip these little arrow key things down to open up these other options. And under the key section, you've got, uh, where it says set color, you've got three different eyedropper options. Um, the first one is the main one we're gonna focus on right here. Um, when you do this, what you're gonna do is just select a color that you're gonna wanna change. And so now you'll notice that it's selected, it's hue, saturation, and lightness. And if I use the eyedropper tool with the plus symbol, I can click on various ones and it will start to adjust this accordingly to encapsulate them all. And if there's one that I decide I don't want, I can just use the one with a minus sign and go in and it will remove it from the selection. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is, um, right here, this is the mask. So when I do this, what it's showing is all of the colors, the things that it's pulling out that it's selecting, which right now is not really much of anything. Um, this is just different view modes to kind of help you see the different stuff. And on this view mode, you can see a little bit right here. It's pulling out, but it's really not much. Um, so I'm going to open up my saturation and move the saturation a bit. Um, I, I already know, actually, let me reset this. When I come in here, let's start over because I slicked at some green tones accidentally. So I'm going to start with the orange here. I know the orange is the one that I want to target. Um, and now I'm going to open up the saturation on this because I want to grab a wide range and you notice it's going to flip to the mask automatically. And as I start to open this up, you'll see those colors start to show that I want to affect. I'm going to do the same with the lightness. Because I want, I want to affect anything that's that color range. Like that. And so now you can see we've got, a, we've got a good thing going on here. I'm getting there. Um, but problem is I still want to grab like her shirt here is pink. And you can tell there's a lot of orange tone on there that I don't want. And so uh, I, need to, I need to include those colors as well. And so I'm actually just going to manually select colors. You'll see in the hue um, line here, all of the different hue colors. And so right here is the center of my selection. And what this is showing here is how wide of a selection it's grabbing. And then this lower arrow here, as I slide this out, it's basically just going to taper off those other um, 
those other colors a little bit more as it goes out. So it's more of a gradual fade versus an abrupt drop off. So I'm going to widen this out a little bit because I know that I want to get, uh, first off, I'm going to slide this to the other side because I kind of want the reds right in the middle is really the kind of the, the center of the family of colors that I want to affect. And then I'm going to widen out here because I know I'm going to run into the pinks and purples a little bit, but I don't really want to touch blues. I don't want to touch yellows too much. Mostly, you know, I don't want, once I start getting into the greens. And so notice there, I've gotten like pretty much all of her shirt and all of this stuff. And I've left all of the other stuff over here alone that I don't want to mess with. I can, I can pull this out and what you'll see is this up here. As I adjust this little tail, it's going to kind of start to feather out, which I'm going to want because as the light spills from here to here, you notice how it gradually changes colors. I really need to like gradually affect the orange out of that. Okay, so now I've got my selection made. And so now I'm going to do my secondary white balance. So when I change the white balance here, um, it's only going to affect those areas right there that are selected on this mask. So you'll notice that these colors are gonna change and these over here will stay the same. So I know that I went um, up here, I went way orange and I added, a, and then I went green with the tint. So basically I'm just gonna kinda be doing the opposite of that to get back to where I was. So since I was way orange, I'm gonna go way more blue back over here and I added in green, so I'm gonna go pink and slide this over this way. And just from a quick, just moving the slider, you can already see it's making a big difference. I'm going to keep going with that just to really get back to where I, I want to be. And one thing I can try, it doesn't always work, but I, if I would see, if I just basically take the opposite of these numbers, sometimes that helps me get kind of in the ballpark. So since I, I bumped this up by 45, I'm going to go down by 45 over here. So if I go down by 45 and then up here on the tent, I went down by 16.3. So I'm gonna go up by 16.3. And you notice it's not there. I mean, it's close, like a lot closer than it was and it's helpful, but that's at least like a good starting, a way you can at least get a good starting point and know I need to go at least this far. But I'm gonna keep pushing this over and we're actually gonna make sure we get her skin tone right where we want it to be. That is looking pretty good right there. But notice the problem here now is like the side of her face right here. That blue is a different color when I need it to be more of this. And notice how this is not fade very nicely right here. How it's like kind of blue here and it's kind of orange here when it needs to fade from a nice like white into that orangish green. So what I'm going to kind of do to fix that is I have a feeling I might have grabbed a little bit too much of the colors over here. So I'm going to back this off just a hair. And you see this kind of going away. There we go. And then I'm going to pull this out here so that it feathers it out a little bit nicely. And through this process doing this, I may have to um, may have to just kind of tweak back and forth, tweak those levels um, for the mask, then tweak the white balance on the mask. It's a, it's kind of a, 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 it's a bunch of trial and error, like going through until you find what you're looking for. And honestly, it's a lot of how you're going to learn how to use these tools is by practicing and just slowly getting better over time. Now it's pretty close, but um, we're not quite there. Still want this to be a little bit more bluish, a little less orangish yellow. So now I'm going to go to this right here and I'm actually just going to pull the slider over this over on this wheel and that right there looks so great to me. Got a nice matchup. This fades pretty smoothly back here. Yep, that's the way we want it right there. That's um, how you do some advanced color correction with Lumetri Color and Premiere Pro. Hope you learned a lot from this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. 